can see the results of his efforts all, all over town. I mean, close. A group of believers surrounds these kids and says, you can. This guy from Westchester came down to the gym on a weekend with his little son and said his little son needed to be tough, toughened up. See, Marcelo's a great man, uh, very hands-on, and uh, uh, he always said this, and I quote, it's all about the kids. Uh, Steve Sr. was just a, he was just a special human being. I mean, of all the parents through the years, he was definitely the one that I had the closest relationship with. Whether I was playing in Massachusetts or Florida, never missed one game, I was at every contest. And, and it wasn't just for me, it was for any young kids he had interest in or was helping out, he was, he was always there for them. Steve uh, was a giving person, helped so many people out. If you needed to, if you were in a jam and you needed something done, you call Stevie Mass. And uh, Mr. Mass, as he's so affectionately known to so many people, helped so many kids. Um, we all miss him terribly. He made sure whatever we needed in this building, whatever we needed to get uniforms, to get a kid on a trip, he was there for this. He was definitely there for us. And he's, he's truly missed. You know, he's asking, okay, what else does the Gaucho need? And, uh, you know, how else can, you know, can he help? You know, that, that's even after his son wasn't involved in the program. So that tells you something, you know, about a person's character, you know, uh, the loyalty. Uh, he's been a friend, I mean, a true friend of mine uh, from day one. He was like my mentor in many ways because he, was, he also knew, he knew the community problems and he knew the parent problems and he knew the academic problems and in any of those in any of those facets he would give me advice which i treasured i was always amazed about just talking to him about basketball and his love for the gauchos i mean it was just you know i mean it's just remarkable he loved the program unfortunately we lost him and you know, we miss him you know, and at the end of the day it's about the kids like he said you know doing it for the right reasons. That's, that's the one comment that always sticks in my mind. You're doing it for the right reasons. I would like to say to, to the Masiello family is that we really appreciate y'all. That's from my heart. Thank you so much. Steve Masiello Sr. is the first parent who's honored in this way today, and he deserves it a thousandfold. Steve had a very special relationship with his dad. They were not only father and son, but they were best friends. So I know how much Steve misses that relationship with his dad and how much we all miss that with his dad. But uh, he had a special dad for too short a time. But for, the, for those 31 years, he had the most special father a man can have. All he ever cared about was just helping people. Um, you know, all he wanted to do was if he could help people get ahead and be successful and he could do that for them, that was it. He never had an agenda, never had a motive, just wanted to have a good time, be around good people, and see people succeed, and that was what he was all about. I miss him, but you know, I, he'll never be forgotten because I carry him right here with me every day, every day.